Hello friends, today I am going to teach you how to make simple ice cream base just like store bought once. 500 ml of full fat milk packet or buffalo or cow milk and add it into a bowl. After adding the milk, take 3 to 4 tablespoons of milk separately into a small bowl. Now switch on the flame, keep it at the lowest possible and put on the milk pan onto it. Now you can take either wheat flour or corn flour or custard powder packet and here I am taking custard powder. You add 2 tablespoons to the bowl of milk which you took before and mix it very well without any lumps. Store-bought ice creams, they also use GMS and CMC powders which helps in uh, thickening the ice cream. If you want, we can also add 1-1 one, one spoon of each. Now you can take 3 to 5 tablespoons of sugar according to your sweet preference. And now turn the flame to medium. Then keep on stirring in between to spread the heat thoroughly throughout the bowl. And when it comes to boil, add in the sugar, mix it well until the sugar melts. Then add in our paste we made previously using custard and mix it well. It took 3 to 4 minutes for me to boil and then to add sugar. And after 3 minutes, I added custard powder. Keep sliding the sides and if you have malai or cream, do add it while mixing it. After it boils enough, then keep sliding the sides and mix it and until it becomes thick and then switch off the flame. Now we can see the milk consistency, how thick it is. To add beautiful flavor to our ice cream, we can use any kind of artificial flavor. I am using pineapple flavor here because I want pineapple flavored ice cream. You can use anything which you want. Mix it thoroughly. If you want, you can add a little pinch of food color into it according to your preference. And let it cool down for some time. Don't forget to scrape off the side with the help of a spoon because it has malai in it which helps with the texture of your ice cream. So it gets cooled down, add it into the mixy jar and wipe it for 30 seconds with tiny breaks in between. This will make your batter smooth. Now pour the mixture into a bowl. If possible, use an aluminium foil to cover the surface of the mixture which will help you to avoid the formation of water droplets which will turn into small ice. Even if it's not there, it's okay. Close the lid and pop it in your freezer for 2 hours. So guys, this is how our ice cream is looking like after 7 hours of freezing. You can simply scoop out the ice cream from this and enjoy it. If you like the video, please like it. If you don't, then don't hesitate to dislike it. Please do comment something on what you feel and subscribe for more videos from me. Thank you for watching.